Hello YouTubers, this is Triple Seven Die Hard Forever coming at you with another highly anticipated and highly recommended model as I continue to play catch up. Today I'll be doing a review on the JC Wings China Airlines Airbus A350 900 XWB extra wide body aircraft in their specialized painted carbon fiber livery scheme in a 1 200 scale model. I purchased this model from Waffle Collectibles and their website address is www.wafflecollectibles.com. But first, before I go into details about this particular aircraft model, allow me to share you some information about the history of China Airlines and how they came about, if you would please. China Airlines was founded on December 16, 1959 by a retired Air Force officer and initially began concentrating on charter flights by using a fleet of two PBY Catalina amphibians as the airline was able to establish its first scheduled routes and officially commenced operations in October 1962 with the airline's first inaugural flight was from Taipei to Hualien City, Taiwan. China Airlines is the state-owned national flag carrier airline as well as the largest operating airline for the Republic of China commonly known as Taiwan whereas the global headquarters of China Airlines is located at Cal Park, which is located alongside the airline's main hub and base of operations that's located on the grounds of Taipei Taiwan International Airport, which is located approximately 25 miles west of Taipei in the Daewon District section of Taiwan City, Taiwan. And the focus city hubs of China Airlines are located at Kaohsiung International Airport located in Kaohsiung City, Taiwan. Taipei Songshan Airport located in Songshan District section of Taipei, Taiwan and Hong Kong International Airport located in Hong Kong. As of November 2021 or at the time of this video review posting, China Airlines currently flies to 115 destinations worldwide across four inhabited continents in Asia, Europe, North America and Oceania with an operating fleet of 83 aircraft which includes 14 Airbus A350-900XWBs extra wide body aircraft including this one you're looking at here with no unfulfilled orders pending on this aircraft type however the airline also has purchase options for an additional six more Airbus A350-900XWBs at a later date if they decide to purchase these aircraft types sometime in the foreseeable future also as of November 2021 or at the time of this video review posting China Airlines is one of 59 airlines in the world of aviation that currently operates as a certified four-star airline carrier according to the international airline review firm Skytrax magazine and the Airbus destination code for China Airlines on this particular aircraft is 94X. All right everyone let's take a look at the front of the box here and what you see the top of it is the aircraft type the airline's logo, the computer generated picture of the aircraft, the China Airlines billboard title, as well as the I Love A350 decal you see at the bottom of the box, as well as the 1200 scale diecast aircraft model information, including the carbon fiber livery you see there as well. All right, now you're looking at the back of the aircraft, and what you see there is the China Airlines billboard title, the airline's logo, the aircraft type. The, uh, the length and the width of the aircraft, plus the specifications, as well as the warning information. You can pause and read that information if you like. It's very informative, but in the meantime, I'm going to keep this moving, all right? All right, now you're looking at the top of the box, and what you see is the aircraft type, the China Airlines billboard title, the airline's logo, the, as well as the 1-200 scale diecast aircraft model information you see at the top of the box. All right, now you're looking at the bottom of the box. The same information at the top of the box I showed you earlier on. However, there are two versions for this particular aircraft model, the flaps up version, and then there's the flaps down version. The one that you see at the check there, that's the flaps up version. That's the one I'm gonna do the review on, all right? All right, now you're looking at this uh, nice little metal model stand that actually came with the model. And right below at the bottom part of the model stand, you see the airline's logo, the China Airlines billboard title, the aircraft type, as well as the scale model information at the bottom part of the uh, model stand. And then you come up here, and what you see there, folks, is the black pattern on that model stand. And the sole purpose of that black pattern is only not only to protect your model, but also prevent it from being damaged or scratched when you put your aircraft model in this particular model stand, all right? 
All right, now you're looking at this plastic bag, and what you see in this plastic bag are the gear replacement doors, featuring the two little toothpicks for these gear replacement doors. Please stay tuned as I go into detail for the sole purpose of these gear replacement doors on this particular aircraft model, all right? All right, with all that information out of the way about the history of China Airlines and how they came about and still operating strongly as we speak, plus all the details here at the front of the box, as well as the information at the back of the box, plus the model stand that came with the model, as well as the gear replacement doors for this particular aircraft model as well. With no further ado, everyone, here is the actual aircraft model. Let's check it out. There it is, everyone, the JC Wings. China Airlines Airbus A350-900XWB extra wide body aircraft and their specialized painted carbon fiber livery scheme. All right, allow me to share some information about the uh, China Airlines Airbus A350-900XWB extra wide body aircraft as well as the specialized custom uh, carbon fiber livery scheme, if you would please. China Airlines became the ninth overall carrier after Qatar Airways. Vietnam Airlines, Fin Air, the Latam Airlines Group, Singapore Airlines, Cathay Pacific, Ethiopian Airlines, and Thai Airways International that acquired this prestigious state-of-the-art aircraft as China Airlines took delivery of its first of 14 Airbus A350-900XWVs extra wide-body aircraft that China Airlines had placed orders for back on January 22nd 2008 and received their very first Airbus A350-900XWB extra wide body aircraft which bared the registration ship number Bravo-18901 at a special delivery ceremony that was held at the Airbus Delivery Center facility that's located in Toulouse, France on September 30th, 2016. Then made its actual debut one month later on October 30th, 2016 with its very first inaugural validation flight when it flew from Taipei to Hong Kong as China Airlines flight CI-903 for flight certification purposes, which allowed the maintenance crews, the flight crews, as well as the ground staff personnel time to get familiar with the aircraft per se before the actual international flight launch. Then fast forward to over two months later, and that's when China Airlines' first inaugural international flight on this aircraft actually took place which was on January 9, 2017, and that's when China Airlines officially utilized this aircraft on their Taipei to Amsterdam and Vienna, Austria routes, replacing the Airbus A340-300 that was previously utilized on, this, on these particular routes, as their entire fleet of Airbus A350-900XWBs currently operates out of their main operating hub at Taipei Taiwan International Airport and Taipei Taiwan, respectively. China Airlines has ordered a total of 14 Airbus A350-900XWBs extra wide-body aircraft to add to their fleet. And at the time of this video review posting, all 14 of their Airbus A350-900XWBs are currently operating in service as this aircraft has since become one of the air carrier's official flagship jetliners for the Taipei-based airline as this particular aircraft officially became the aircraft that eventually replaced the carrier's fleet of Airbus A340-300, which was unfortunately withdrawn from the China Airlines fleet on June 14, 2017. All right, let's talk about the customized painted carbon fiber joint livery scheme you see on this aircraft here. Prior to this aircraft being delivered to China Airlines on October 22, 2018, China Airlines collaborated and partnered with aircraft manufacturer Airbus and came up with this elegant customized painted joint livery scheme that's actually displayed on this particular aircraft, which happens to be the 14th as well as the very last Airbus A350-900XWB extra wide body aircraft, which bears the registration ship number Bravo-18918 that actually entered the China Airlines fleet as this customized livery scheme that's actually displayed on this particular aircraft is actually called the Carbon Fiber Joint Livery Scheme. The Carbon Fiber Joint Livery Scheme also incorporates the blue identity colors of China Airlines, which also interweaves with the classic Airbus Carbon Fiber pattern design that also features the airline's corporate logo design, the red plum blossom logo design that's actually displayed on the rear sectional part of the fuselage, as well as on the tail fin of the aircraft, respectively. As the combination of high-tech styling coming together 
with the beauty of traditional weaving symbolizes the fusion of Eastern as well as Western cultures as this customized painted joint livery aircraft emphasizes the brand image of energy as well as the elegance of China Airlines. So, with all that information out of the way about this aircraft and this particular customized uh, carbon fiber livery scheme you see on this aircraft, with no further ado, let's get down to business and let me show you all the details on this aircraft model. Show it, let's check it out. All right, we're gonna start at the front of the aircraft here on the port side's left side, where you see the front nose gears right here, the nose gear struts, the nose gear door featuring the uh, registration ship number on that nose gear door, Bravo 189-118 there. You see the Peter 2s and the static ports, what have you. And there's more Peter 2s right there. And then there's the uh, radon nose cone, as well as the cockpit windows and the windshield wipers. I'm going to give you a better visual view of those later on in the review. Please stay tuned for that part. But well, right by the cockpit window is the Sky Team uh, decal you see right there, as well as the uh, L1 door right there as well. China Airlines joined the Sky Team Alliance on September 28, 2011, which consists of 19 airline members from five inhabited continents. And this alliance includes Aereo Mexico, Air France, Delta, and Korean Air as the four founding members. Now you see the uh, registration ship number that sits right here above the windows, as well as on the uh, nose gear door I mentioned earlier. Bravo-18918. Registration ship number Bravo-18918. This aircraft is the 14th as well as the very last Airbus A350-900XWB extra wide body aircraft that actually entered the China Airlines fleet. And the first test flight on this aircraft took place on August 9, 2018 and was delivered to China Airlines on October 22, 2018 as this particular aircraft was the only aircraft in the China Airlines fleet that was actually painted in this customized painted carbon fiber joint commemorative livery scheme. And the registration uh, ship number on this particular aircraft, 18918, actually features two numbers, 18s, the first two numbers as well as the last two numbers, as those numbers are considered very expicuous numbers for good fortune. All right. All right. We still at the front of the aircraft, and I forgot to mention the China Airlines billboard tires you see displayed there, as well as that little logo right there. I have no idea what that is. If somebody can uh, pinpoint that to me, what that is, I would truly appreciate it. Please leave that in the comments section, all right? Let's continue. All right, now you're looking at the center of the aircraft, the upper part on the fuselage, and what you see there is the Airbus A350 billboard title you see there. And this huge decal actually represents the aircraft type in which this particular aircraft happens to be the Airbus A350 in which this particular aircraft program was officially launched at the Farnborough International Air Show in Farnborough, England on July 14, 2006 as China Airlines is one of 33 carriers from around the world that currently operates the Airbus A350 in their fleets at the time of this video review posting. All right, now we're at the lower center of the aircraft, and what you see is the uh, side visual view of the landing bogey gears here, which includes the landing gear struts, as well as the landing gear doors. And then you see these big massive engines right here, featuring the engine cones right there. And these are the Rolls-Royce Trent XWB84 turbofan type engines that are used on this particular China Airlines Airbus A350-900XWB extra wide body jetliner aircraft. All right. Now I'm going to turn this aircraft model around and let y'all see the uh, front of the engines and the turbo fan blades do spin. Let's check it out. Alright, now you're looking at the front of the engines here on the port slash left side of the aircraft featuring the engine strike right there and the turbo fan blade spin over here. Let's check that out. Perfect. And then you see the inboard landing lights right there painted in there in the triangle pattern, the three little dots right there. And then you got the front visual view of the landing bogey gears you see on this side of the aircraft, which features the landing gear struts as well as the landing gear doors. All right, now you're looking at the front of the aircraft here on the starboard slash right side, where you see the uh, engine strike right there and the turbo fan blade spin over here just as well. Check that out. Perfect. And then you see the inboard landing lights right there in the triangular pattern, as well as the front visual view of these landing gears which features the landing gear struts as well as the landing gear doors 
All right, now you're looking at the front of the aircraft where you got a better visual view of the cockpit windows, the windshield wipers. There's some more pewter tools right below the cockpit windows and the windshield wipers, the radon nose cone, uh, the nose gear doors, and there's nose gear lights inside of the nose gear doors inside there, the nose gear struts, as well as the front visual view of the front nose gear. All right. Now you're looking at the blended winglet wingtip device on this side of the aircraft. And these blended winglets were made from composite materials and the sole purpose of these blended winglets is to improve the overall efficiency of the aircraft, resulting in saving fuel, lowering noise emissions, and improving takeoff performance at the same time. These blended winglets has a 31.9 degree sweep angle, helping to increase, increase cruise speed to Mach 0.85 and a maximum operating speed to Mach 0.89. The blended winglets for the Airbus A350 aircraft were produced at the Airbus Broughton factory, known as a specialist facility, located in Hawarton, Flintshire, Wales, which lies near the border of England and Wales. Now I'm going to show you the, um, the, uh, the blended winglet wingtip device from the front view angle. But what you're looking at here is the rear navigation light that sits next to this blended winglet. Now you're looking at the front uh, visual view of the blended winglet wingtip device. You know how it's landing a 31.9 degree sweep angle. How I see it's curved off. Impressive. All right, we're at the back of the aircraft here on the port side. And then you see the um, little, little square there. That is the AFT bulk bin door. But more impressive, it's impressive this uh, carbon fiber livery scheme you see here at the back of the aircraft. That's what this aircraft is actually uh, made from any of the materials they use to build this aircraft okay and then there's the registration ship number that sits right above the uh, windows right there that I mentioned earlier all right now you're looking at the tail fin of the aircraft and what you see is the China Airlines logo that's displayed on the tail fin of the aircraft which is this nice looking logo right here the China Airlines corporate logo as you can see it displayed on the tail fin of the aircraft is actually called a red plum blossom flower and this particular flower actually symbolizes from the distinctive type of Asian tree species that grows on both the plum as well as on the apricot trees. This particular flower is also considered the national flower of the country of the Republic of China slash Taiwan and has been the airline's signature trademark logo ever since it was in introduced in 1995. As this logo can be seen on the tail fin of just about every China Airlines aircraft flying today. As you see there. All right. All right. Now you're looking at this aircraft from the uh, back view, and what you see is the APU auxiliary power unit exhaust hole right here. And there is a hole there, yeah. As well as the strobe light that sits underneath the APU exhaust hole, as well as the entire aircraft from the rear view angle. Check it out. There it is. Awesome. All right. Now you're looking at the front of the aircraft here on the starboard slash right side where you see the front nose gears, the nose gear struts, the nose gear door featuring the registration ship number on the nose gear door, Bravo-189118, the Peter tubes and the static ports, there's more Peter tubes, the radon nose cone, the windshield wipers, the cockpit windows, the Sky Team uh, decal, the registration ship number there, the China Airlines billboard title as well as the logo including the uh, front cargo container loading door you see there as well. All right, now you're looking at the center of the aircraft here on the starboard side where you see the Airbus A350 uh, billboard title sits at the center of the fuselage right there. And then you're looking at the uh, Rolls-Royce Trent XWB84 turbofan type engines right here. Features the engine cones right there as well as the side visual view of these landing gears on the side of the aircraft that features the landing gear struts as well as the landing gear doors. All right, now you're looking at the blended winglet wingtip device on this side of the aircraft featuring the airline's logo painted on the uh, blended winglet as well as the green navigation light that's displayed near the uh, blended winglet wingtip device. And I'm gonna show you the um, front visual view of the blended wing on this side here as well. Let's check it out. All right, now you're looking at the front visual view of these blended winglet wingtip device you see on the starboard side of the aircraft. 
Now you're looking at the back of the aircraft where you see the carbon fiber specialized painted livery scheme displayed on this side here as well, including the rear cargo container loading door right here, the registration ship number, as well as the airline's logo, the Plum Blossom logo that's displayed on the tail fin of the aircraft on this side here as well, as you can see. All right. All right, before I show you the aerial bird's eye view of this aircraft model in full detail, as well as the undercarriage belly view of this aircraft model in full detail, allow me to let you check out one feature, which is the rolling gears. Let's check it out. Okay, rolls pretty good. So far, so good. It does tilt. And the front nose gear is uh, it's a little stuck there, a little challenge with the front nose gear. That's, uh, but... None of this still a great model nonetheless despite that one little flaw there all right so with no further ado allow me to show you the uh aerial bird's eye view of this aircraft model let's check it out all right now you see in this aircraft model from the aerial bird's eye view we're going to start at the front where you see the uh the radon nose cone the peter tubes the windshield wipers the cockpit windows the power escape hatch door then you slide over here the anti-collision beacon light, the Wi-Fi box antenna, another high frequency antenna. See the ADF antennas in 3D. You see the A3, the Airbus A350 decal on both sides. Another high frequency antenna. And then you see the carbon fiber livery scheme back here, including the uh, satellite communications antenna. That's what that big little dome there is. And then another high frequency antenna and then the uh vertical stabilizer known as the tail as well as the horizontal stabilizer you see there as well as over here there's no illuminated lights but that's okay and then let's look at the wings folks the engine and there's the wing and which includes the flaps slats aileron spoilers what have you the warning information fuel dump valve as well as the uh, blended winglet that features the partial airlines logo that's painted on this blended winglet. Now let's check out this side here. The engine's there, as well as the uh, wings, which includes the flaps, slats, ailerons, spoilers, what have you. Warning information, fuel dump valve, as well as the blended winglet that features the partial the airlines colors on this side of the blended winglet as well. Alright, now you're looking at the undercarriage belly view of this aircraft model. We're going to start at the front, see the nose cone, and that closed gear door there, that is the uh, crew escape hatch door right there for the crew to escape in case of emergency. And then you see the front nose gear you see there, as well as the front nose gear door. And then we slide up this way, a high frequency antenna there, another one there, the hole where the stand goes in at, the anti-collision beacon light. Another high frequency antenna, and then there's the carbon fiber livery painted on in here as well. And then there's the uh, APU housing doors right there, including the uh, horizontal stabilizers underneath. Now let's check out the gears here. Okay, tilt a little on this side, okay. You see the engines there, including the engine strike, as well as the wings underneath, which features the flap, slats, ailerons, spoils, what have you. The restoration ship number, the fuel dump valve, as well as the blended wing. Let's check out over here. Uh, a little challenge with this tilting right here, but it's all good nonetheless. But you see the engines right there, as well as the wings underneath, the includes the flaps, slats, aileron spoils, what have you, fuel dump valve, as well as the blended wing that's on this side of the aircraft as well. All right, since I show you the aerial bird's eye view of this aircraft model, as well as the undercarriage belly view of this aircraft model in full detail, now I'm going to put it on that nice little model stand that actually came with the models you see there that I showed you earlier. So with no further ado, everyone, here is the model on the stand. Let's check it out. All right, fine got this model on the stand, as you can see, with no problem, no hesitation. As you see it being viewed in the takeoff landing position with the model on the stand, being viewed from the port side of the aircraft. All right, now you see this model being viewed in the takeoff landing position with the model on the stand being viewed from the front view angle.
All right, now you're looking at this model being displayed with the model on the stand being viewed in a takeoff landing position, being viewed from the starboard side of the aircraft. And finally, you're seeing this model being, be, being viewed in a takeoff landing position with the model displayed on the stand being viewed from the tail cam angle. All right, before I take this model off the stand, I got it in position for a reason. And the reason is, is the magnetic gears actually came with the model. So I'm gonna go ahead and take them off. Starting with the front nose gear, which is right here. As you can see, that's magnetic. The gears here on the port side, there. As well as the gears on the starboard side, as you can see there as well. So. With that said, allow me to let you see this aircraft in flight mode position at a different angle. Let's check it out. Okay, now you're seeing this model being displayed with the model on stand being viewed in the flight mode position. Now you got one or two options how you want to display your model from this point on. If you want to display it, continue to display it like this without the gears in gears up position, without the gears in flight mode position, that's fine. You remember these uh, little gear replacement doors I showed you earlier on? That's the sole purpose of these gear replacement doors is to substitute your model while you display your model like this. Or you can do what I do, just keep it in the gear down position. Gears up, gear down, your choice. But I choose to leave mine on there because it adds more value to the model. So with that being said, I'm going to go ahead and put these gears back on this model. Take this model off the stand and go ahead and wrap up this model review. All right? Okay. Let's talk about the seating configuration on this aircraft. The China Airlines Airbus A350-900XWB extra wide body aircraft seats 306 passengers in a three class configured cabin layout. Here's the breakdown everyone from rows 10 to 18 which will be from here to about right here. You have 32 premium business class open suites, rows 30 to 34 which will be about from here to about right here. You have 31 premium economy class seats and rows 40 to 75, which will be from about right here all the way back to the rear of the aircraft. You have an additional 243 economy class seats, which brings a total of 306 seats. However, in rows 41 to 47, which will be about from here to about right in here somewhere, yeah, right there, and seats A, B, and C on the port side, as well as H, J, and K on the starboard side. These 36 seats can actually be converted into 12 family couch type sofa beds. All right. And finally, China Airlines currently utilizes this aircraft or have previously utilized this aircraft, the Airbus A350-900XWB's extra wide body aircraft on routes from Taipei Taiwan International Airport and Taipei Taiwan to worldwide destinations such as Amsterdam, Netherlands, Vienna, Austria, Beijing capital, Frankfurt, Germany, Hong Kong, Osaka, Kansai, Rome, Fumicino, Singapore, Changi, Vancouver, Kaohsiung, Shenzhen, China, Guangzhou, China, Bangkok, Suvarnabhumi, San Francisco, California, Los Angeles, California, Honolulu, Hawaii, Shanghai, Pudong, Jakarta, Indonesia, London, Gatwick, London, Heathrow, Kuala Lumpur, Malaysia, Sydney, Australia, Brisbane, Australia, Melbourne, Australia, Hanoi, Vietnam, Tokyo, Narita, Okinawa, Japan, and Dempasar. Those are the routes. Well, everyone, this will conclude this particular model review. I'd like to know if you got this model or you plan on getting this model, if you can find it. At the time of this video review posting, this model was pretty much available on, only on eBay. If you can find it there, good luck. Otherwise, you're pretty much out of luck. So with that said, please take care. God bless. Stay tuned. There's more model content coming. Peace.